Ava was this fiery little tiefling. She was such a hot spark, small but mighty. She knew how to fight, to hold her own, but she was also kind and comforted me. I hope she's doing well, wherever she is. Oh, Blueford, you want a belly rub, don't you? <laughs> After all these years, you don't get tired of the belly rubs. How about behind the ears or a chin scritchy? <laughs> That's my good boy. Yes, Blueford. Maybe later we can do an old-fashioned Leon and cuddle pile. You can sleep on my belly just how you like it. <laughs> yes, good boy. There was Corona. This hapless drow. Pure chaos. But I don't know. Something about him. It changed me, and I think I changed him. I certainly tried to, for the better, of course. I, I saw he was struggling between right and wrong, good and evil. I did what I could to guide him towards good. Have him understand what is lawful, what is right. I did my best, but even I have my limits. But he meant the world to me. I hope he's well, wherever he is. There is one thing that I do that is of great importance to me, and that is to watch over the old temple. It is a place that Sylvanas deemed as a threat to all spirits, though I was tempted to release such a pain on that evil, the cost of those that are peaceful would be too great. So here I sit, old gray fur, living on my days with Blueford. I know of this Lord Chaos you speak of, though, forgive me, as my whiskers don't hold all my senses any longer, but I've managed to keep this place untainted by its clutches. Corrin, while I didn't know him long, he has my respect. When I was gone from the party, after I had been taken, he took care of Bluford in my absence, and I owe him my gratitude for that. There was this dastardly metal curse that went through the land. It, it was corrosive. It was evil. I know it's hard to tell based on how I look under this mithril armor, but I started as a druid. And of course, nature does not tend to play nicely with mechanical beings. I became touched and corroded. In fact, I was taken. My body was forced to become a metallic clone of myself, and I lost access to my touch with nature. Sure, I still have my druidic magic, but it's changed. It's metal. It all became metal. But I can't let that worry me anymore. While I miss my party, while I miss my magic, I have my Leonin. I have Blueford. I did what I set out to do, and I'm happy. I'm happy. And you are too, aren't you, Blueford? <laughs> That's a good boy. Hmm. The only chaos I know of is a deity called Mother Chaos. She is a goddess like no other. Well, she did save my friend from a wretched fate, he still went down a path unlike any that came before. For while I knew him, he was no longer the same as I last saw him. Poor Corona. I hope you're all right in this cruel world. Why, hello there. My name is Oberon of Gladstep, and this here is Blueford, my trusty companion. My adventures began with the ending of my clan. I used to live in the plains. I was a part of a clan of Leonin, but they were all hunted. And so it became my mission to figure out what happened to them, to save any that I could find, if I could find any at all. Eventually, my travels brought me to find new Leonin and a couple Leonin that had been from my clan, actually. 
I was shocked and elated. I vowed I would do anything to protect them. And I did. With a gift from Sylvanas, I was able to create a sanctuary for all Leonin so that they may never be hunted again. As well, as for dire wolves. When I first met Blueford, his pack was being hunted and used as weapons. Wild magic out of control was bloating their bodies and causing such suffering. And so I promised I would help him. I fulfilled that promise. And while I expected him to go back and lead his pack, he decided to stay here with me. And I'm so thankful to still have him by my side after all these years. You see, Sylvanas didn't bless me just once, but twice. She blessed both Blueford and I with long, long lives so that we may continue to protect the wilds and to protect each other. Huh, slut, I'd almost forgotten about him. He was this satyr, this goat-like guy, and huh, I don't think I ever even learned his real name. It makes me blush just thinking of the things I witnessed him do. His nickname was very fitting, I will say. <laughs> <laughs>